Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Mrs. C and I'm here to do a, another review for you guys. This one here is going to actually be a little different and I wanted to do a review on these because one, I see them all the time on my Facebook. I have one. I am definitely that girl who has a lot of travel mugs. Um, I like different brands. I try different ones. I just feel like you always want a different one. Maybe you want one with a straw. Maybe you want one with a just a big gulp. Maybe you want one like, for me, I wanted to try one of these brew mates is what they're called. And I don't know if you can see that there. If I turn it. But it's a brew mate and this is the 32 ounce travel mug. And they're supposed to be spill proof. They're supposed to be, you know, keep your drinks cold, which I will admit, this drink has been in here since this morning at 5 a.m. with ice. Um, I actually filled it up in the morning, took it to work, and then I ended up stopping and getting myself an iced coffee. So then I didn't drink it. And then I went for lunch and got myself a tea so that I didn't drink it. And so it just sat out on my desk and I didn't drink it. And as you can hear, there's still ice in it. So I will say with these cups, it does keep your drinks cold. Like I've not had any issues with the drinks not staying cold. But here's what my issue is. And maybe somebody can tell me. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Maybe like, but I don't like it. Like I don't like this cup at all. And here's what my issue is. First off, this lid is the problem child. So if you put this lid on too tight, first off, we had struggles to get it off, back off the cup. To me, that's a pain in the butt. Like, I don't want to be at work trying to fill it up with some water, and I can't get the lid off. And then I can't, then I don't have a cup, so then I'm, one time I tried to just fill it up through the mouthpiece, and that took forever. That's annoying. You don't want to pay, these are like 30, I think it was like $32 plus shipping. Like, nobody wants to pay that much for a cup that you can't use. Like, that's annoying. But anyway, so here's what the issue is. So the lid here, as you can see, has this seal, and the right there you have to put the cut lid on there's like a little dent there i don't know if you can see it okay right there there's a little dent so you have to start this cup right there where that one is so you have to put the lid on that way like there's no you, you can't force it to go another way okay so i put the lid on and now look so to drink and i'm holding it my drinkies over here I want my drinky to be right there. I'm not gonna go like this and try to slurp out of it. I mean, you could turn it like this and hold it, and then you're still kind of like drinking this way with it. That's dumb. Like, I want to drink it full on at me. Here's the other thing. I don't know if you can see on this cup, but you see that little like black line? That's actually just a little gap. If I try to turn this any tighter, I'm not getting this lid off. This lid will not, I, I can't get it off of there. It'll be stuck and I'll have to like ask my husband to go out and use something to try to get it off there, loosen up the suction. And I get it. It's supposed to be spill proof, but which, better make sure it's locked, which granted it is. So you can see there's liquid in there and it's not coming out. But on the flip side of it though, it's still not like, it's just not fully sealed either in my opinion. I'm guessing that seal in there is just doing just enough to keep it from coming out. So unless there is another way for these lids to work, I do not recommend these brew mates because you're spending that money for something that's not functional. If you are just want to run in and put some water, if you're at work especially, that's when it stinks the most. You run into work and all you want to do is just put some water in here and you can't get your lid off and now you don't have even a drink or like a cup to use to put water in and now you gotta run to a gas station or just go without all day with no water, then that's an issue. And so to me, this is their biggest problem child. Now the lid itself like has this like little locky thing and you can pop it and then it magnetizes back. So that's nice. Like I will admit that's, that's great. I love the bright pink that I love it. So totally me, but it's this lid to get it off and on and seal correctly. Like nobody wants to drink this way. Everybody wants to drink like this, like normal. Or, I mean, I prefer, would rather like to drink like this because I'm right-handed, but it's just annoying. That's just my opinion. Again, 
these are just my reviews, my opinions to give you guys. So if you're looking out there for other drink drink cups, I will, if you like this and you want more information on other ones, because I have a ton of different cups from like the coldest, a Stanley. What was the other one I just bought? It was actually just a generic one, but it's got like a flip top, like a straw on it and you can switch it out to different stuff. And I really like that one and I got it in white. But anyways, if you like these kind of reviews or you would like to hear more about other different kind of cups and my experiences and what I've had, let me know in the comments and I will be glad to do more. But this is my biggest issue with these brew mates is these lids. And if you wash them, like I don't put them in the dishwasher, I hand wash them. But when you go to put the lids back on and just, it's just a pain because you're so scared then to seal it up too tight or close it up too tight because then you can't get the lid off. And it's just, and then who wants to drink sideways? It's just really weird. So I don't understand. And like I said, maybe in the comments, let me know. Maybe I'm doing something wrong, but this is not a good one for me. Not a winner. So that's it on this Brewmate Travel Mug 32 ouncer. So I will see you in the next review. I got a few candles coming up that are from Goose Creek that I've bought that, meh, they're not like bad. They're not good though. Like they're not out of this world either. So I will be back shortly. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.